What is up witches and wizards, muggles and nomads? We are here walking around the park in the cold and in the rain trying to get a centaur bow for my page. And we got another egg. <laughs> that's okay though, honestly, it's not that big of a deal. Once you see why I'm talking about community day, why that's not that big of a deal, you will understand. So let's go ahead and jump into all of the tasks, all of the rewards, all of the quest steps, and everything that you guys need to know about community day happening this February 23rd. So that'll be from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. local time. And we're gonna go ahead and jump into those tasks starting right now. Uh, first, we'll have to return 10 Doxy Foundables for two Snowdrop Potion Ingredients, return 15 Leprechauns for two Unicorn Hair, return 10 Erklings for two Hermit Crab Shells, five Horn Serpent Foundables for two Powdered Dragon Claws, use three Oddities Rune Stones for two Wormwood Potion Ingredients, and two Tonic for Trace Detection Potions for one Potent Extemulo Potion Reward. Now, once you complete that, you get three Red Spell Books, 10 gold pieces and tw uh, 200 wizarding XP. So here are the actual details for community day in more of a bullet point fashion that you'll see in the updates, probably all over Reddit and Discord and all of that good stuff. But I do wanna go over these and discuss them after I go over them just for posterity and because I do have a few ideas and, and thoughts about these types of things. So first we'll have the special assignment that we just went over, uh, rewarding spell books, potion ingredients, coins, XP, all that stuff, all those fragments and types of things that we want uh, and then we will see spell energy on the map which I always think should exist on the map anyway increase sightings of foundables from the oddities 2 registry page including the horn serpent doxy leprechaun urkling uh, all of those things that you'll need and then increased potion ingredients for the tonic for trace detection all over the map so that'll be things like bulbadox juice bane berry uh, angel's trumpet and the erumpent horn so we'll see all of those all over the map all day on community day um, we'll have, like I said, increased uh, ingredients. There'll also be an increase in Angel's Trumpet and Bulbadox dropping from greenhouses. So you'll be able to get those bonuses. Like say you have a hard time finding it in the wild, you can actually find a greenhouse and probably stock up there. Uh, the reduced some brew time for tonic for trace detection to one hour, which is going to be even better when you apply master notes because master notes uh, have been increased effectiveness wise from 15% to 50%. So basically you can brew a tonic for trace detection every 30 minutes. So if you do that, you know, every half hour, you can actually get a ton of these uh, stocked up throughout community day. And as long as you start your last potion brew before 2 p.m. local time, it still should only take 30 minutes to brew that potion. So there's a little tip for you there if you're looking to stock back up on some tonic for trace detection. There's also a, sort of a weird mechanic that they're doing this time with the tonic that I'm not really sure how it's gonna go. I'm not really sure what the feedback is gonna look like for this. Uh, but what they're doing is they're actually decreasing the time of the tonic for trace detection. It's not gonna last 30 minutes anymore. It's only going to last 15 minutes. And the reason that is, is because when you s see spawns through tonic, you get 10 spawns that it will populate through that 30 minute window. So what they're doing is instead of something happening every three minutes for a total of 30 minutes and you seeing 10 spawns throughout 30 minutes, they've reduced it to 15 minutes and you'll still see the same amount of spawns. So instead of every three minutes seeing something, you'll see something every minute and a half. So it sounds weird that they're doing it this way, but they're essentially increasing the number of spawns that you will see in total by just constantly using these tonic for trace detection potions. So I know that that's kind of weird and it's an interesting mechanic and they've never really done anything like this before. Uh, so it's something that I'm interested to see how it turns out, if it goes well or if it goes poorly for them. Uh, so I did want to explain that. So the next thing that is really, really cool is when you're using an Oddities Runestone in Chamber 10, which is Tower Chamber 5 or higher in Wizarding Challenges, you will only get Horned Serpent Egg found Foundable Fragments. Now, you may think like, that sucks, that's terrible. Why is, why is that a thing? Well, that's because you're gonna be able to get them from the port keys, you're gonna be able to get them from the fortresses, and you're gonna actually be able to prestige this entire page, possibly a couple of times. If you start out almost 
almost done, quote unquote, uh, with these pages, then you're actually gonna be able to prestige it maybe once or twice during the event, depending on how many fortresses you can do and how many rune stones you have for those oddities, which is actually really incredible. Um, I would like to see going forward more events that focus on these guaranteed foundable fragments because I mean, that's, that's why we're here, right? That's why we're playing so we can keep prestiging these pages to gold. So when you're using an Oddities runestone in Tower Chamber 5 or above, you are guaranteed a Horned Serpent Egg uh, Fragment. If you use any other, any other one at all, like any other uh, runestone, like the Games and Sports one, or Magic Zoology one, or Dark Arts one, anything at all, you will be guaranteed a foundable fragment that can drop from uh, fortresses. And so what I'll probably end up doing is taking some inventory and saying like, okay, well, what is it that I need? What is it that I've had a hard time, you know, finding other than the centaur bows, of course. And I will look at my pages and really do a dive on that so I can know going into community day, like, hey, these are the runestones that I need to be using. I need to guarantee myself these amount of drops at least in order to help set myself up for success in the future. So that's also something that you might uh, wanna look into as well. Make sure you go into community day well advised and thinking about what you need in order to succeed. Uh, last but not least, landmarks of course will be turned off, so that will sort of increase your oddities. It'll increase the amount of spawns that you can get from those tonic rotation detections that are going to be, you know, the Urklings, the Doxies, the Leprechauns, the Horned Serpents, those types of things that we need. Uh, so I'm actually really excited about this. I, like I said before, I, I know that this is kind of weird, and we've had issues in the past with um, Wonders of the Wizarding World, for example, last month where Grop didn't spawn, so everybody was able to prestige their page like maybe one time, if that. And and they weren't able to do all of the stuff that they wanted to do, which is a little bit unfortunate, but this is actually gonna be an incredible community day because if you look at this page, I mean, they're providing every single foundable on this page for us in some shape, form, or fashion through rune stones in tower chamber five or above you'll be getting the horn serpent egg you'll also be getting them in the special two kilometer port key portmanteau uh, that i'll probably stock up on and save for a later date you'll also be seeing every foundable in the wild that exists on this page so big thumbs up to uh, the teams at wb and niantic for actually listening and for uh, implementing change i know that they do a really good job of this and um you may not like fully see everything that goes on behind the scenes but like they put in so much work to make sure that the player base and the fan base are happy and they do an incredible job of it. So, so far, just from the preview alone, big thumbs up for me for this community day. Now, of course, I would be completely remiss if I didn't talk about the store bundles, so I do wanna go over those briefly for you as well. There's going to be a free pack that you can get in the store on community day that contains 25 spell energy, six baneberry potion ingredients, four bulbadox juice ingredients, four angel's trumpet ingredients, and two irrumpent horn ingredients. So basically you'll be, you know, handed a tonic for trace detection for all intents and purposes. Um, so that is the complimentary gift. And then of course there is another one that is uh, for 420 gold. Uh, you can get five oddities level four rune stones, five oddities level three rune stones, five healing potions, and five potent extemulo potions. So that's some pretty good value there. Uh, the potent extemulo and the healing potions, of course, are, are really what makes the value worth it for 420 gold. So that's good stuff right there. I'm not complaining about that. Not going to complain about the free bundle because, again, it's free. So um, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Are you excited for this community day event? Are you going to finally be able to prestige? I unfortunately wasn't able to do much prestiging during the crazy and love event. I still needed those centaur bows, but I've been getting tons and tons of serpent eggs as you just saw. So that's been good. I'll be able to definitely prestige this page a couple of times, hopefully, uh, hopefully a couple of times uh, during community day by saving up those rune stones, going into tower chamber five and uh, making sure that I take inventory of all of the other things that you need as well. So if there's anything unclear, or you have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. I'll Love, love interacting with you all. You can also follow me on my socials there and I'll interact with you on there as well if you're a Twitter person or whatever. So um, thank you guys again so much for watching this video. I appreciate each and every single one of you. And that's not a joke. I really and truly do. It blows me away that anybody clicks on my videos. Um, except for my mom. I feel like she's obligated to. So, hey mom, uh, thanks so much guys. And if you haven't already, make sure you leave a thumbs up down below. Make sure you hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already and ring those bell notifications so you know the next time I produce a piece of Harry Potter content. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, peace.